So something I have here, um, which is interesting, is this series for the Suns, like a lot of it was the D book show. Like he took over these games. And even in the elimination game, what do you have like? 17 or 18 points and yeah went oh, for almost like, 50 but yeah like 17 yeah. or 18 in the third quarter alone yeah yeah um, he went he went crazy he was going off and so <laughs> it feels like you know just off again super small sample size they haven't played a ton of games together but like and a lot of this has to do with how katie plays but it's like he's kind of taken that 1b almost 1a 1b role to d book um and he just gets his shots whenever he gets them. He's always going to be hyper-efficient. So, like, he doesn't need a ton of shots to put up 25, 30 points. Um, but if D-Book is playing like this, that takes so much pressure off of Chris Paul and, and DeAndre Ayton because it's like, I don't even need to look for T-Y'all for a ton of points. You have Devin Booker and KD will handle that. All I need y'all to do is, um, you know, it needs to just, you know, continue to be a presence on both sides of the ball in the interior. Um, and Chris Paul is going to facilitate the ball as he always was run an offense um, and hit a couple of good middies when he needs to. So mm -hmm. his son's team is looking very, very, very scary. Yeah, uh, 100%. I agree. Um, the Suns, I feel like Devin Booker loves playing with Kevin Durant because of who Kevin Durant is, the attention that he attracts. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker is not going to see any double teams. He's not going to face the team. You know he don't like double teams. Yeah, he don't like double teams. <laughs> Stop with that double team. <laughs> but not, he's not going to face double teams. He's not going to face the team's best defender. So that just opens up a whole new world for him as far as, like, scoring the basketball and being able to play free. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like a 1A, 1B thing because Devin Booker is a, is a, is a one-caliber player. Like, he's yeah. not a number two. He's a one-caliber player. So when you pair that with, obviously, a Kevin Durant, it's just – it's tough. He's just going to – I mean, it's kind of like how when Kevin Durant went to the Warriors a little bit, you can't focus solely on Kevin Durant, even though he's obviously the best player. But you got to worry about Steph, you got to worry about Clay, got to worry about all these other people. Kevin Durant attracts so much attention that Devin Booker is just like he's able to feast. He's able to feast. But on one thing that does concern me about the Suns is the fact that their lack of depth is is like really really bad. Like yeah. they have to play their guys. 40 plus minutes every single game if they want to win. Because if you think about it, they played a Kawhi list, PG list Clippers team and still had to play their guys, what, 45 plus minutes, 42 plus minutes a night. Mm -hmm. And with the injury history with Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, that's a little bit concerning. So I don't know. The, the lack of depth is, is a real question mark, especially when they go into this series against the Denver Nuggets. So I, I'm going to be interested to see how Monty handles the minutes how their bodies will hold up. Cause I don't know if that's a sustainable way to play when you're just playing what six, seven, seven, really seven deep, right? You have like yeah. that, that star five. And then it's like a Kogi obviously is getting some good run again. And then mm -hmm. Biombo and like, that's really it. Like campaign isn't getting a lot of minutes. Uh, you know, we saw He's some hurt. Damian. Yeah. We saw some Damian Lee and um, Landry Shamit there in game five, but you know, it's like five, seven minutes, something like that. So it's really a seven man rotation. Like you said, that's, I don't think that's going to be sustainable. Um, exactly. It's like we're in the, you know, only going to be in the second round of Western Conference playoffs. Like you said, you know, Kevin Durant played 44 minutes in game five. Debo played 42. Chris Paul played 37. Aiden played 36. So again, and, and we might as well just really dive into this whole Suns Nuggets series because I think this is the series of the second round. 